Good day, this is Pops from the t Row channel. Uh, this is uh, project number three starting. Uh, it's probably going to be uh, kind of a, a late war post uh, and, uh, Normandy invasion. Uh, maybe even uh, pull into the uh, outskirts of the uh, Third Reich of Germany. So I'm going uh, to start it off like this. Got the building and uh, some uh, a little better damage I put on the uh, base there, and uh, these uh, we use these uh, figurines here that I have in my collection. I've been keeping for a while. I got this. I got numerous other Americans, and uh, I thought I'd use this uh, trumpeter uh, M4A1 76 uh, medium tank Sherman. And the 76 long barrel. So I'll probably use this here for the vehicle on here. And those men, then I might use a few German casualties that I acquired. And uh, uh, I got a package of rubber around here somewhere. It's up under here. And, but this is uh, the project uh, number three. I got project number four lined up over there. I'm going to use uh, that uh, Russian-made uh, SU-152 uh, assault uh, howitzer. And it's a little bit of debris in the building. I already got the uh, thing stage. I got to clean it up like I did. I started on this one here. But uh, this is project uh, number three. It's coming along. Good morning, this is uh, Pops from the t Row channel. Uh, this is an update on project number three. Uh, uh, I'm basically uh, done with the, the, the base and, and, and the building. I put in a stone wall that was 3D printed. Uh, this is an all be uh, um, building uh, ruins that I bought quite a while ago back in the in the, I believe in the late 80s, early 90s, and it was on on this diorama itself, which was damaged uh, in storage. But uh, I did some uh, modifications to to the base itself and re reattached the building, and I basically did some little cheats and, and, and snaps on here. Uh, I used cardboard on the uh, road here because I had it like this other first diorama that I started on and it was you know too high so I figured I had to level it out a little bit so when I put the applique uh, road finish on here right before I put the debris on here it should it should uh, balance itself out but I got a little bit more uh, to do on that I did build a, a scratch build uh, floor, damaged floor from the interior, and built it to uh, attach right in here, when I get all the debris and all placed in here, so that will be placed in just like that, and uh, I got some, some figurines, uh, a couple of them I had from the first diorama that I didn't use, as casualties, uh, a couple of resin. Uh, 3D printed I got from, uh, from China through uh, AliExpress and I got some regular uh, yeah, ill tolerant I can't even pronounce it <laughs> but the uh, company that uh, I tell you around now that uh, bought out uh, EC uh, molds I got some of their American figures and like I say I got a trumpeteer uh, long barrel M4A1 to use on this 
diorama here. So it's coming along. Uh, like I say, I'm, I'm almost done with the finishing touches on the other first two dioramas. I got a little, a little bit more weathering to do on them to make it more, a little bit more precise. But this one here, pretty much got it down. I got a little touch up to do on the uh, windows and stuff, window frames. And after that, then I can uh, move on to uh, put this other applique uh, road material I get, my, my get from my uh, eBay partner uh, from Greece. And uh, I believe this one will be on the way to just using some of that debris I accumulated and uh, finishing this one out also. I say all this lacking now is some, you know, detailing on some of this over, over brush strokes and stuff from paint, and it's gonna be basically uh, on my finish stage. I got to touch up some more. Well, I did some uh, little paint mirrors. I'm going through these dog on uh, triple zero uh, fine uh, detailing brushes like crazy, man. On, on this small scale stuff, you gonna go through a lot of them. Especially trying to help in the application of some of this weathering on here. I use a various amounts of different weathering, like the concrete on here. I use uh, this uh, Vallejo uh, stone and pigment on, on a lot of the, on, on this concrete, and then add some dark tone and stuff in, in the creases and stuff with the cracks. Need to touch up the weathering on the door a little bit. Basically, this is a pretty good success. And basically, believe it or not, these uh, floors here is this flexible uh, uh, foam stuff I am using. I find it it comes out these flexible foam sheets glued down with PVA. They come out pretty good on here. You know, sometimes you gotta use a little, like a little cardboard or other materials to come in here and balance it out, level it out. But that a little bit of Scotia mold plaster, you make a pretty decent diorama base. But that's the update for this for this one here. And I'll move on as it comes on and put some more add on details. Thanks. Have a good day. This is Pops from T Bro Channel. Good afternoon. Uh, this is the update on Project 3D. Uh, American uh, diorama, and uh, I've already did some of the little detail into that. I gotta add the, some more rubble to it. I've just about completed the uh, M4A1 uh, 76 uh, trumpeter tank for it. And I got the crews and the infantry ready for it, so it's just about ready to come about. So I'll start posting these other uh, previous videos and try to get this one ready to get up, get uploaded. Um, so just an update on uh, project number three and how it's coming along. And I appreciate your patience and uh, hope to get some likes and subscribes from this. And uh, be sure to ring the bell so you can be updated on um, when the uh, videos pop, uh, premiere. Thank you. It's Pops from the T Row channel. Uh, this is uh, number three, the. Uh, D-Day post-American German uh, diorama. I finished up on, on doing the, the most on it I'm going to do for this one. And it came out like the others pretty decent. You may notice I color code my uh, diorama base all set for the first project and poly number seven. But it came out pretty good and you see I, I put most of the decals I could on here. Mm, pretty much weathered them. Got them looking pretty decent, so uh, this will be another post for the uh, my YouTube channel for T-Row. 
Thanks. Like and subscribe, please. It helps greatly to uh, produce more uh, videos. Thank you. Pops from the T Row channel. Uh, this is uh, number three, the uh, D Day post American German uh, diorama. Finished up on, on doing the, the most on it I'm going to do for this one. And came out like the others pretty decent. I color code my uh, diorama bases also for the first project and probably number seven. But it came out pretty good. And you see, I, I put most of the decals I could on here, mm, pretty much welded them. Got them looking pretty decent, so uh, this will be another post for the uh, my YouTube channel for T Row. Thanks, like and subscribe, please. It helps greatly to uh, produce more uh, videos. Thank you.